The entire wrestling world is saddened by the passing of Scott Hall, and wrestlers from all companies paid tribute in their own way. On Raw, the same day Scott Hall died, Kevin Owens kicked off the show with the bad guy's signature phrase. Hey yo! Later on, Kevin Owens was backstage with Seth Rollins, and KO said, Look, I, I, I know things are tough, okay? I understand, but look, tough times don't last, but tough, tough guys do, right? So This was a spin on Razor Ramon's iconic line when he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. Then, when Owens and Rollins fought in the main event, KO gave Seth a fallaway slam, one of Scott Hall's signature moves. Also on Raw, Finn Balor and Damian Priest went one-on-one. -on -one. During Priest's entrance, he performed Hall's iconic walk as Damian made his way to the ring. During the actual battle, Priest used Scott Hall's finisher, the Razor's Edge, to send Balor crashing onto the announcer's table. Finn Balor also gave a tribute to Scott Hall by throwing up the two sweet hand gesture, which was made popular by Hall and the NWO. The next night, the stars of NXT 2.0 also paid tribute to the bad guy. During the start of the show, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode did Scott Hall's signature finger point to each other. Later on, a different NXT duo did their version of Hall's entrance. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams performed the Scott Hall walk and also threw up a two sweet. While making his way to the ring, Tommaso Ciampa spotted a sign that said, Rest in Peace, Scott Hall, and Ciampa responded with his version of Scott Hall's walk. Finally, the tag team MSK came out wearing NWO shirts, the legendary group that Scott Hall was a founding member of. Additionally, MSK also made sure to give a hey yo. Hey yo. It's worth mentioning that Mandy Rose spray painted Toxic Attraction's logo on Cora Jade's back. This could be an homage to Hall and the NWO, as they often did the same thing to their opponents. Over on AEW Dynamite, Jim Ross opened the show the same way KO did. Hey yo. Later on, Matt Hardy was wrestling in a match and went to hit a razor's edge, but his opponent didn't allow it to happen. Later that night, Britt Baker walked out to the ring wearing gear inspired by Scott Hall's NWO attire when he was a part of WCW. After the show went off the air, Sting grabbed a mic and did his impression of the bad guy. Did you come here tonight to see the good guys? Or did you come here tonight to see the bad guys? Outside of wrestling, the Arsenal Football Club, which has a history of playing WWE theme songs during their games, played Razor Ramon's entrance theme during their halftime. Long live the bad guy.